you know, I'd say these things are pretty much a work of art. What's going on guys and welcome to a very shiny brand new episode of Watch It In Action. I'm your host, Bows Phoenix Prime, but not really. I mean, I mean the Prime part. Anyway, today we're covering the Axolotl Prime, which was just released with the Valband Prime Access. But before we jump into that, I wanted to let you guys know that BowsPhoenix.com is in the process of being updated. And we've got tons of new builds up and have just revisited some of the old ones. So be sure to check it out by clicking the link in the description. Also, just like my YouTube videos, make sure you whitelist the website in your ad block. I don't have pop-ups or anything, so you won't be bombarded with a bunch of junk. I really appreciate that. Now, moving on, the Axtelotto Prime is, in my opinion, a thing of beauty. For some reason, I love status weapons, and boy oh boy does this thing deliver. The Axtelotto Prime features primarily impact damage with a little bit of slash and puncture to make up his base damage. It's worlds away better than its non-prime counterpart and features double the status chance, almost twice the magazine size, and a higher critical multiplier. As for the negatives, like other weapons of its type, i.e. machine pistols, it features fairly poor ammo economy, but I think they try to make up for this by reducing the fire rate compared to the non-primed Axtelotto. As for the build, I only needed to invest a measly 2 forma to get this thing where I wanted it. With that 2 forma, I was able to get a pretty sizable base damage and almost 100% status chance. It's amazing what this weapon can do. In the top row, I'm using Hornet Strike for straight damage increase across the board, followed by Barrel Diffusion for multi-shot, and Lethal Torrent for more multi-shot, and a bonus to fire rate. Pressurized Magazine is a super fun mod to use on this build because the Axe Stiletto has an amazingly fast reload speed. When using this mod, your fire rate is increased massively after reloading for several seconds while aiming down the sights. This mod kind of kills ammo economy, but seriously increases your DPS output. If you decide to run this mod, make sure to bring ammo restores. You're definitely gonna need them. On the bottom row, I've added all of my elemental mods. I'm using three dual stat 60% mods for the increase in status chance. Right now, I'm running a corrosive heat build, which fares well against corrupted enemies. This build is designed to use any elemental combo though. You aren't just stuck to corrosive and heat. Try switching them out depending on which enemies you're fighting. If you are running heat in your build though, make sure you throw on a prime heat of charge if you have one. Otherwise, just use a 90% elemental mod instead. For the last part of this video, I wanted to demonstrate this build and the weapon against some high level targets. We'll start with some level 100 corrupted armored enemies. This is about the same level you'd see in the average sortie. With the status weapons, our first free shots won't do a lot of damage against these guys, but once we get a few hits in and the corrosive procs stack, they'll remove armor and will deal more damage with each consecutive hit. With the extreme fire rate we have here, all of that is going to happen very quickly and you should easily be able to dispatch most enemy types. Our next test involves some heavy corpus enemies. Here, I'm using an electricity and viral build. I was pretty surprised how fast this thing was able to take down the level 100 corpus tech. As you can see though, status is pretty versatile, and the impact damage on this procs constantly, giving us a permanent stun lock against enemies, which can be super useful against tougher targets. And that pretty much covers it for this video, guys. These things are monstrous for only needing two forma, and they're probably my favorite part of this Prime Access. If you have a chance to pick these up, I highly recommend it. Anyway, make sure to check out BowsPhoenix.com for more builds like this. I'll see you guys in the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.